Hey, good morning to you all. It is wet out there and we have a major closure. Don't worry, we'll have you covered throughout the morning on all of the roads as you are heading out the door in the Novi area. Right now, 275 southbound is completely closed between 696 and M14 and it will be for quite some time. So we're going to plan our day together ahead. Our detour we suggest is 696 to the lodge to the Southfield Freeway. Take the Jefferies after that. You can also take 696 to Telegraph to the Jefferies. I wanted to give you another alternate route if you were worried about getting confused. Just take Grand River and you will be just fine heading that direction. It's going to take you some extra time no matter where you're headed. Now we mentioned those wet roads and we are seeing some issues with some accidents. 94 westbound at I-75. We have an accident. It's off to the right shoulder and right where our closure is this morning. 275 northbound at 696. Let's take a live look outside with our 7 first alert traffic camera. This is what we're dealing with now, folks. Northbound lanes are looking just fine. Southbound, it's dark over there, complete, completely closed. We have team coverage throughout the morning for you. 7 Action News reporter Shelly Childers is live out on the scene this morning. Hey, Shelly, how is this construction going so far this Monday morning? Well, it's just begun this detour situation behind me. I'm at the area where 96 meets 275 at this interchange. And joining us right now is Diane Cross with the Michigan Department of Transportation. Good morning, Diane. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Can you talk to us about why you guys decided to do this all at once instead of keeping a couple lanes open at a time? It really was a matter of funding. You need to realize we really do try to be very fiscally responsible on how we spend the money. If we close it completely, then the workers can work unheated as quickly as possible, get in and get out at a cost of about $75 million. If we were to have to try to maintain lanes, moving barrels, and really the concrete barrier walls are what are much safer for workers, that would end up really doubling the costs for traffic control. And it just seemed that uh, when we did a survey to the public, everybody preferred that we get in and out as quickly, you know, rip that Band-Aid off. And so the idea, if we just close it down, we can do it safer, faster, and get out. Okay, and so the good news with that, though, is that you guys could do it faster and possibly um, increase the deadline by which you finish? And initially, we expected it would maybe take two years if we had to leave some lanes open or share the road in each direction. So while, again, this is not ideal for so many drivers, it really is the best thing financially and for the least amount of time to get in and get out. Okay, and right now the deadline for the southbound lanes of I-275 is when? We hope to have this southbound side reopened in July, and I know that's many months away. It'll be a rough couple of weeks while people find their way around, but once they do, we'll get used to it. Then sometime in late July, we'll open southbound and we'll close the northbound side. Okay, whole other story for July. Okay. Thank you so much, Diane, for joining us. Uh, and all, this project is expected to impact 100,000 drivers every day as they try to find that detour. We have our Jennifer Ann Wilson actually testing out that detour for us right now. Jennifer, how does the detour look this morning? Well, you know what, so far, Shelly, the good news is there's a lot of signage. So if you forget about the detour that we've been telling you about this morning, there's a lot of help out here on the roads. I'm currently actually driving on 275 northbound, the opposite direction. We're going to give you a look there. So this is... 275 North. It is open. It's southbound. That's closed, but you can see there's still quite a few construction barrels here. We're looping around so we can take another route. We did just drive the official MDOT alternate detour, and that tacked on more than 20 minutes extra than what it would have taken just to take 275 South from five mile to the 696-96 M5 interchange. So know that you're gonna need to pad on at least 20 extra minutes. And depending on when you hit the roads, you can see traffic is starting to pick up. We're not alone out here and more cars are gonna be joining us very, very soon. I'll be keeping you posted on how the roads are looking. And if I find which route is best, I'm definitely gonna let you guys know. Back to you. 